The original infection attacked the nerve cell bodies of the lower motor neuron, which is the nerve that connects spinal cord signals directly to the muscle. Um, that's where the infection went. Many of those lower motor neuron cells died with the original infection, leaving muscle without a nerve supply or with a reduced nerve supply. In response to that, the anterior horn cells that were left, that you know, recovered or, or weren't affected, sent out new branches to reconnect to muscle to try to maintain you know, the, the nerve stimulation of that muscle. Sometimes the recovery was so good that the muscle looked normal, it behaved normally for many years. Um, the only way you would know would be if you had done an electrical test and you would see that the normal looking muscle is actually being supplied by half as many nerve fibers as the original supply was felt to be because you have nerve fibers that branched out and are now taking over all those orphaned muscle fibers. That puts increased metabolic demand on the nerve. All of a sudden a nerve cell has to supply power and nerve function to many more muscle fibers than it was designed to. It needs more energy production, it needs more protein production, it needs more of everything. As a nerve cell ages, its ability to generate energy, generate proteins, you know, make those connections declines. And you begin to get what's called a dying back neuropathy. All of those new little connections begin to detach and wither back. So you run the risk of ending up with a muscle that is orphaned again as it was originally um, because the recovery was done in a way that put unstable stress on the nerve cell. Um, and there is evidence that this is what's going on. The electrical studies that we do on polio survivors with new complaints show the remodeling from the original polio. They show that, you know, the muscle, instead of having a dozen nerve fibers supplying it, has maybe six, and that those nerve fibers have larger territories, are controlling more muscle fibers. And when somebody is becoming symptomatic, you can see instability in the nerve muscle connectivity. Um, it's called jitter. And when you look at an electrical nerve test um, of a single fiber, you'll see that the conduction from the nerve ending to that fiber is fires sometimes, doesn't fire sometimes, giving a jittery pattern of electrical, as opposed to a smooth pattern of electrical stimulation. Um, even as those nerve fibers are dying back, they're trying to grow back. Um, the peripheral nervous system is very strongly involved in recovery, while central nerves you know, really don't recover that well. But at some point, it just begins to lose the battle. Mm -hmm.